What's up, fellas? Lady fellas, this is your boy Rowdy coming at you with a Fallout video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a few weapons that we came up with for using the uh, any weapon, any mod glitch for PS4. Now, uh, go ahead and jump right into it. First off, we got this here bolt caster. Now, this is going to be a combat rifle and a harpoon gun mixed. So when you shoot, you get these awesome harpoons, which can then also be used as steps. So you can use these to get to higher places that you couldn't previously reach. Awesome, super useful weapon to have. The next one we got here for you guys is called Exodus, which is something that I named it. Essentially, I got this idea from the Creeper Cyborg. It's actually uh, someone who's been uh, watching some of my videos lately. Thank you, man. Um... Essentially what this is going to be is a hunting rifle with the legendary effect of energy damage. It's going to be a plasma rifle receiver and it's going to be an improved laser sniper barrel. And it's going to have a recon scope and that's pretty much it. Doing all this stuff creates this crazy awesome weapon which also shoots a 308 round, it shoots a laser round, and it shoots a plasma round. So you get this crazy powerful weapon that does amazing amounts of damage and uh, definitely a unique one. I think one of the most unique on this list. And um, so yeah, this next one's going to be the force rifle. This is going to be a automatic rifle with the uh, Lorenzo's artifact, which is actually a awesome combination. I felt like the rifle had the best look with Lorenzo's Artifact, so I kept that one on there. Currently, one of my personal favorites. Uh, this next one's going to be called the Hammer. It's actually kind of more of a, a joke gun, because, I mean, while in a theory it looks like it would do a lot of damage, but honestly, the recoil is what kills this weapon. So it's going to be an automatic shotgun with a submachine gun receiver, and it's just going to be a... Uh, yeah, a little bit too crazy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, probably one of the more useless weapons on this list. This next one's going to be the Harvester. This is going to be a serrated machete and a ripper. One of the things I like about this weapon is the animations for when you pull it out and put it away just seem to work so well with it. And uh, it does a good amount of damage on top of that, so really good weapon to have. Then the uh, next one we got is the IE-01 rifle, which is going to be a automatic rifle from the Nuka World DLC. And an institute barrel. Doesn't really change the, uh, the type of ammo you shoot, but uh, still just a little bit different aesthetically. Give you something fresh to work with here. This next one's going to be called Judgment. And this is going to be a combat knife with the Chinese officer sword on there. And uh, it's actually going to be cool because it uses the fast animation, so you move way faster when using this weapon, which I think is a huge plus. Oh, picked up the wrong one, so we'll go ahead and jump right into that one. This one's going to be the laser sniper, which is going to be a hunting rifle with the laser receiver. So it doesn't really change the uh, ammo type, but uh, it is a little bit different aesthetically, which I do like about it. So that's cool. Um, this next one is going to be a jury-rigged laser musket, which is a combat rifle with a laser musket receiver. And this is going to shoot some powerful sniper blasts. So, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the way this one came out. animations are kind of killing it but uh yeah something still really different to work with you know different kind of play around with this one's going to be a scavenged institute rifle which is going to have an institute rifle receiver and then uh the rest of it's going to be a automatic rifle with you know kind of the uh best attachments you can for it it's not going to really change the ammo type on this one either, but uh, it's just different aesthetically. Kind of gives you something fresh to work with. And 
this one is going to be one of the more overpowered weapons. This is going to be a combat rifle with a missile launcher targeting system. What that's going to do is uh, essentially you can lock onto a target and then shoot as many missiles as you can at them. And uh, yeah, that'll put an end to pretty much anything super quick. So uh, something to keep in mind there. This last one that we got on the list for you guys is going to be what I call the Tesla Pulsar. And this essentially takes the sniper barrel and puts it on the Tesla gun. And what kind of comes out of it is this laser beam that almost arcs like electricity. So it's still a super powerful weapon that you can do a lot with. But uh, it does change the electricity, so... If that really isn't your uh, your thing, then maybe this mod isn't for you. So, uh, yeah, I mean, aside from that, that's going to be all the weapons that I've uh, really modded that I thought were cool enough to show off. So, um, yeah, I mean, if this, guy's, if this gave you guys any ideas on, you know, some combinations to try on your own, go ahead and leave me some uh, comments on what you guys have come up with. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Deuces!